to research subjects, you know, purified psilocybin, because they started the new experimentation with psychedelics, and that's been banned for like 40 years, because psychedelics were so terrifying to our culture that we just put them away. It's like, whoa, no, we're not going there. And so, even from a research perspective, and even though some of the psychedelics look very promising for the treatment of disorders like alcoholism, they recently used psilocybin to help people stop smoking down at Johns Hopkins, and I think they had an 80% success rate, which is just, like, that's just absolutely mind-boggling. And so, but if you give people psilocybin and they have a mystical experience, which is very common among people who take these sorts of chemicals, then their personality transforms permanently such that one year later they're one standard deviation higher in openness and openness is the creativity dimension and that seems to be a permanent transformation and so that's really remarkable and about 80% of the people who undergo the Johns Hopkins experiments report that the experience is like one of the two or more, three most important things they've ever that, that's ever, ever happened to them and so well that's, that's something 